Welcome back to Adventures in XNA. I am Ardermus, and in, in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to add sprite fonts and graphics or textures to your game project. All right, we'll be picking up where we left off in the last tutorial. So, if you don't have the source code for that, you will either want to download it or follow along with that tutorial to catch up. First thing we're going to do is go over to our Solution Explorer and let's add another organizing folder here. We're just going to right click and select Add New Folder. We will call this Globals. <clears throat> that way we'll be able to uh, keep track of all of our uh, global classes. I just went ahead and dragged my Globals class that we created in the last tutorial up there and dropped it in. Um, Next step, what we will do is right click on that globals folder and select add and then class. And we're going to call this fonts. And from this class, we will load all of our fonts that are referenced in the game. And that'll help us keep it organized. So, now we need to actually add some fonts to uh, display in our game. So what we will do is go back to our Solution Explorer. This time we're going to right click on the game content subsection of our project and right click, add new item. What you'll get is a new menu here um, with just a few items to select from. You'll notice that they all say Visual C Sharp. That is okay. This is a C Sharp project, even though we're working in VB <coughs> Visual Basic. So, what we're going to select is Sprite Font, and we will give that a name. And every font that we load into our game will be loaded in the same way. So, the first one I'm going to add is just going to be an Arial font 8 point so I'm just going to name it Arial underscore 8 I'll click add and that will add the sprite font to the project you'll see it over here uh, what you will notice is that it is not an Arial font when it first comes in it creates a default font called the Segoe UI mono as you can see I'm going to change that to Arial and this font name will have to be the name of a font that is installed on your machine. You can distribute new fonts with your project, uh, but anytime someone tries to compile that project, uh, they will get an error if they do not have that font installed, even though uh, it will still compile successfully and they will be able to see it. Uh, just a little heads up there. If it is installed on your machine, you will not get any errors. Uh, I picked Arial because I think that is a default Windows or a standard Windows font. So we're going to want to change the size to 8 for this one. You can change the size to whatever you want. And uh, there are also options when you're drawing in your game uh, to scale the fonts, though that can create uh, pixelation and other graphic artifacts with your font in the game. So. Anyway, let's go ahead and save that. And I'm going to add one more font to the project. I'm going to right click here again, select Add, New Item. Again, a sprite font. And this one, I'm going to do a Georgia 16 point font and add that. So I'm going to just call the Georgia font that's installed on my computer. Oops. And I want that to come into 16 size. And I can save that. Now that we have that, um, once again, let's go ahead and uh, organize our uh, folders here. I'm going to right click on Adventures in XNA content again, say Add New Folder. As the game grows, you're going to have a lot of resources to select from, so you're going to kind of want to keep those organized, uh, maybe separating sounds from graphics and fonts. So I'm just going to call this one Fonts, and I'm going to drag both of these up here and drop them in there, uh, just for organization's sake. And um, now we're ready to actually learn how to add these into the game project. So 
to do that, we're going to have to go back to our fonts class that we just created. And in here, we're going to add a couple of variables uh, or handles to our fonts that will be publicly shared throughout the project. So to start off, we're going to say public shared Georgia 16. Okay, we're going to do this for each one of our fonts that we add to the game. And we will bring those in as a sprite font. And we'll also do the same for our Arial font, Arial 8, again as a sprite font. Okay. And then we have to create a public load class to reference from our Games Foundation or a Game 1 class that we created in Project 1 or set up. So we'll say uh, public shared sub load. And with this, we will load our fonts into the game at runtime. So we'll say Georgia 16 equals, and then we're going to reference our globals dot content dot load. And we have to tell it what kind of asset we want to bring in. And in this case, the asset that we're bringing in is of a type sprite font. Oops. Sorry, I can't type. I had too much coffee. <laughs> kind of jittery. Um, and next step, we add a second set of parameters to this load function. And the final parameter will be the path or asset name uh, to the actual uh, item that we're loading in. So if you look over here, we're going to see like Arial underscore 8 dot sprite font and it's in the fonts folder. We actually have to specify that path here. So we're gonna say fonts, and then forward slash, and then the name of our asset. It is not necessary to add the file extension of the sprite font, so you do not have to put dot sprite font. I also don't believe that these are case sensitive, so if you use upper or lower case, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you just call the name of that as you see it over here in this list. We're going to do the same. <laughs> yeah, you guys probably caught that before I did. I brought uh, Arial 8 into Georgia 16. Well done. So you want to make sure you set those up right, otherwise you're going to be confused later on down the line. I'm going to go ahead and paste this down here and call that Arial 8. And change this to Arial 8 as well. All right, that's really all there is to it. Now, later on, when you guys are creating your own projects with your own fonts and things like that, um, all you do, every time you add in a new font that you want to load in the game, you just add it to this list and you can keep uh, giving them unique names. So you can call them by size or um, name or whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and save our project. And next step, we are going to tell our game how to actually load this font class at startup. So 